Hello beautiful ones, welcome in to my little station. It's good to have you here. I'm just gonna be seeing what comes out for this reading. I'm gonna dip into the airwaves and see what spirit wants you guys to know. Okay, we have Jupiter. Okay, this is the benevolent energy of the universe. People used to worship Jupiter as a god because it's such a huge planet, okay? So this is all about being expectant of beautiful things coming in, okay? Growth and expansion. And this is really just the energy of, of pure blessings uh, sweeping over your life like a shower of magical sprinkles. So I really want you to get those chakras uh, lit up and really expect in this moment good things to happen okay so this is you sending out your request to the universe conjuring the energy before it happens okay i want to get you guys in control of your reality you know in a way that i don't see any other tarot reader doing so we have to conjure it up if we want good stuff to come in so this is jupiter energy all over your reading let's have a look what comes out in this storyline there we go queen of pentacles abundance satisfaction okay this is an energy of feeling feeling really wealthy feeling really healthy okay and you know there are many options that you can take here in some sort of business this is about you weighing up your options all these avenues to abundance all these avenues to success all these avenues to you getting that house you want getting that job you want you know you could be working on your body eating healthily this is all magic guys this is all alchemy so spirit wants you to really open your mind here with jupiter energy and know that everything is available to you and when we can get the energy conjured up within us before something comes along then we become true alchemists of our own reality so let's see what else is coming out here on this story okay the page of pentacles this is a new pathway okay this could be an offer coming in with the page of pentacles something tangible okay this could also represent being you know the perpetual student of the universe and keeping your mind open like an enthusiastic child that's the way we get everything we want when we find that frequency we've got the five of swords here so i really feel like spirit wants you to ignore any chaos that's going on and when we learn to control that mind we learn to control our own reality and then things stop coming at us that don't feel good because we're not giving in to the storyline anymore. We're pulling our power back. Being like, you know what? I'm going to be calm and benevolent and happy no matter what. Queen of Pentacles, look, she's content. And she's not about to let anyone spoil her contentedness because, you know, we attract via our frequency. So this could be some spiritual warfare. This could be someone coming along robotic energy here with the five of swords okay anyone who isn't on the godhead team anyone who isn't of the positive polarity okay any narcissist any sociopath they're robotic they just go round and round in circles and they love it when humans get all flustered uh because of their behavior because they're not even really human okay god gave up on them long ago okay harsh but true We've got the world card as your main energy here. And again, this woman on this card is so happy. She's skipping along. Her magnetic field is lit up and beautiful. And, uh, you know, she's not taking anything too serious here. So let's have a look what else comes out. Message from your higher self. Look at this nine of cups. So the message here is that just when you're on the verge of a breakthrough, some robotic type humanoid, okay, and I call them exactly what they are. They are robotic guys. Those who don't have their heart chakra activated, they just want to distract you. You see this little, little git over here, okay? Trying to distract this person who's just sick of the chaos and sick of the sick of the drama here. So when we're really sick of the drama, you know, we've got to switch our mind to our wish fulfillment, nine of cups, okay? We decide when to end the storyline. We decide what timeline we exist on, and we decide via our mind. Magic is the ability to alter consciousness at will whenever we want so you're really being advised here okay i'm hearing learn your lesson learn from these devil creatures okay learn from these ones who are nothing but shadows of humans okay and they love getting us all emotional and they love seeing our reactions and they soak up any energy from our magnetic field because they have no connection to source the universe doesn't support people who don't have their heart chakra activated. So this is about keeping your heart chakra activated. This is about keeping you in the energy of love and abundance. Nine cups. This is like nine potion bowls of your beautiful essence, your beautiful elixir. Okay, and look at this. That energy is coming out from her heart or from his heart, whoever this is, you know. And, and that's what conjures up all this wish fulfillment. 
keeping that heart chakra activated there's nothing narcissists love more or chaotic people love more than taking you off of that frequency of love that's their goal that's the only reason they exist to harness chaos to stop us being happy so you've got to be really stable here in this queen of pentacles energy yeah we've got the queen of swords not surprising here you're being advised to be like a ninja warrior and cut someone off of your timeline you've got people overlooking you okay you've got ancestor energies here you see this bird just softly flying around in the ether you know this is someone watching out for you okay possibly bringing you bits of information about whatever this five of swords represents and we've got the star here okay she's connected to the ethers okay and of course this is about following your heart this is about following your north node following how you feel when it comes to making your decisions okay someone's been trying to confuse you here someone's been trying to distract you someone's been trying to cause illusion with this seven of cups energy and i feel like with the world card and the queen of swords this is really about shutting it off before it gets even worse than it already is you know four of wands there we go with the fool on the bottom of the deck so this is about freeing your mind okay this is about potentially a connection coming in that someone could be trying to distract you from okay with the four of wands but we get to the four of wands by making our frequency a match to the four of wands before the four of wands comes in so this is about feeling blessed way ahead of time if you're dealing with any idiots okay if you're dealing with anyone who's low vibrational please do understand that this is spiritual warfare okay and they want to stop you getting your blessings they want to stop you getting to where you need to be by pure distraction okay they want you to feel hurt they're very aware that humans have got motor neurons uh not motor neurons what am i talking about mirror neurons they're very aware that you expect them to act human and they find it so funny that we still expect this after thousands of years of spiritual warfare we still think all humans need to be kind and all this rubbish when it's literally two teams on this planet the negative polarity who have no heart chakra activation and operate robotically working for that which we call devil versus the positive polarity who have their heart chakra activated okay so this is nothing to do with uh being religious necessarily this is to do with having a heart okay and i'm hearing your heart's too precious to keep getting distracted by someone or something over here let's have a look at the seven of cups show me death okay so this is like shutting the door on any confusion you know what when you're on the right pathway it feels good to you okay there's no confusion there's no illusion there's no mm, maybe this person's okay maybe they're not the confusion in and of itself is the sign that you're on the wrong pathway so spirit wants you to really take heed of the signs understand these people are sneaky they're not going to admit they're narcissists they're not going to tell you the truth it's a game it's mental warfare because the mind creates reality if they can get you stuck on them if they can get you thinking about them analyzing them they're taking up your precious focus time where you could be focused on your wish fulfillment remember every second you spend focusing on some idiot chaos causing confuser that's a, that's a vital second of your precious life that you could have spent focusing on abundance being on the channel of abundance being on the frequency of blessings they know what they're doing okay they know what they're doing and uh, that's all they're here to do is really stop us getting our blessings or distract us long enough that we through our own free will stop you know going for our wishes they want to take you off of the nine of cups channel of the mind that frequency of wish fulfillment and they want to put you on the five of swords with them in the prison they live in okay when we're around narcissists they uh literally we have to exist within their timeline okay we're just extras on their timeline when we're around these people and uh, that's just the way it works with these negative polarity beings they don't believe in free will they suck you onto their timeline onto their movie reel okay and uh, it, it really does suck the life out of you so spirit wants you gone okay be brutal like Callie Ma doesn't put up with any shit she knows what to create what to destroy and what to preserve and you want to preserve anything that brings you peace you want to preserve anything that brings you love not confusion not arguments not conflict okay you should probably feel it in your gut when this person is around you because uh, they might be accepted by other people you know or they might have this storyline that other people go along with but that's not your problem your your issue in your life is creating what you want 
getting that loot, you know, getting your wishes fulfilled and creating a beautiful reality on earth. And uh, yeah, there's someone spirit wants you to get away from here. Let's have a look at this Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. This is about you being in control of your reality, okay? And also we've got the Four of Wands uh, with this Emperor. So you want to stay on the Blessings channel, okay? And that happens in your mind. You know what channel of the mind you're on by how you feel. And if you feel excited and enthusiastic and radiant, then you know you're heading towards everything you want. If someone manages to put you in a different frequency of mind, then it's a good lesson in pulling back your authority, okay? Pulling back that authority. Because th this could certainly be a connection coming in with this emperor. Let's have a look at this page of pentacles. The hanged man, okay? So this is learning what to sacrifice on your timeline. This is learning that to be a good person, it doesn't mean you've got to put up with everyone's shit, okay? The high priestess has two pillars side by side of her the pillar of mercy and the pillar of severity. So the high priestess has to know when to not give her love to people because those people would, would misuse the energy and use it to cause more chaos. So the universe can't bless you while you're feeding narcissists fuel, okay? They need to know that you are very aligned with the truth of the universe, aligned with universal law. And that's what a high priestess is. We haven't got that on the table, but the tarot is all about creating your own reality understanding universal law and becoming a sovereign being someone who can create their own reality at will okay so i feel like you've got a big lesson to learn here but big lessons bring big blessings okay someone needs to be sacrificed the hanged man is a traitor in traditional meanings of the tarot and we've also got a snake eating its own tail here showing us the karmic illusion you know what happens when we're stuck in a 3d mindset for too long you know, the snake eats its tail, you know, it has to. The 3D mindset is doomed to failure. Hence, we have all these keys in the tarot showing us how to raise our mindset out of that frequency. Your mind's like a TV, a TV station. Your mind is literally a frequency, a cosmic antenna. And whatever frequency your, your mind is on brings you, brings you either five of swords energy or nine of cups energy okay so hmm, spirit wants you to get rid of someone here okay and stop letting them take up too much time overthinking about them worrying about them this is stopping you getting to your blessings okay yeah five of bloody wands yeah five of swords five of wands this is spiritual warfare mental warfare mind to mind combat this is like mortal combat because you know these people that we feel sorry for and want to treat them as human they want to see us dead in the gutter. They want to see us penniless. They want to see us suffer, our children suffer. This is no joke. And like I say, this life that you're living, you're never going to get the same time back ever again. You know, you're never going to get this segment of time back. And what you, what you conjure up right now, in this now moment, if you're on a nine of cups frequency, then you know you're conjuring up nine of cups things that will come back to you on the loop of infinity. But if you're in confusion, chaos, overthinking, then, oh God, the universe has to respond to that frequency. You see now why these people are so malevolent. You see how insidious they are. The distraction alone is insidious because the mind creates reality. So uh, this is all about learning your lessons here and upgrading your reality by not falling for the illusion. Don't fall for the conflict. Don't fall for the chaos. Okay. Eight of pentacles. This is about your spiritual work here and really going through the steps you need to free yourself from some low vibrational storyline. All storylines are created via the mind. And if you keep dipping into a storyline with a narcissist, they swallow your whole life up. Your solar plexus is getting drained moment by moment by moment. Every time you're around one of these narcissists, there's a reason why they put us in school with all sorts of beings to anesthetize us, to get us, you know, immune to the feeling of danger. Okay. And it happens even when we're in school. Yeah. Not all children are born of the light. Okay, some souls in their previous lives, they chose the devil, they chose to be unkind, they chose to be evil over and over and over and over again, until the Godfather, the God of our realm, had to give them to devil. You know, you don't want any betrayers in your team, you know, and God is like a Godfather. God wants his uh, family to run smoothly and with loyalty and with heart. So he gives them away to the devil when they show absolutely no love, no kindness, no compassion. 
lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. So you could have become quite immune to the feeling of narcissists. You know, maybe you went to school with a lot of them. We all know how cruel and vindictive children can be. Okay, it's very rare to actually find a, a child who has that glow of the heavens still on them. They're very rare. Okay, I've been shocked as a high priestess old soul on this planet. I expected all the children to be lovely. But actually, they're few and far between. And most of them get sucked into the deluge. They get sucked into just trying to get along, trying not to be scapegoated. You know, trying not to be the one that's singled out. But uh, yeah, wow. We all know what school's like. And even in work, even in family, we get used to these people being around us, not knowing the power they hold. You know, when a positive polarity being comes up next to a narcissist, we get sucked onto their timeline, onto their storyline. Okay, this could be, yeah, two of cups, this could be someone trying to distract you from a divine connection, which so often happens, but let's have a look at this nine of cups, page of cups, so yeah, I feel like this is an offer coming in for you here, let's have one more, this is an emotional offer, a genuine offer, okay, could be a cancer energy here, or a Pisces, or a Scorpio, doesn't have to be, okay, we've got the two of swords coming out, so this is an offer you don't see coming, okay? This is something that's going to come out of the blue here with the chariot energy. So I feel like this is an ally, okay, this page of cups. I feel like this is someone lighthearted, cute natured, someone sweet, someone who's going to help you escape some sort of situation here, okay? Some energy drainer, some chaos causing, conflict causing energy drainer. Yeah, seven of swords, look at this. So they really want you to cut off the drama here, Seven of Swords. Someone's being sneaky, but not sneaky enough because you will feel it in your gut who they are, okay? And they probably won't expect you to cut them off. So it's always good to get the element of surprise with these people. It's always good when they think you're soft and stupid and kind because they always take kindness for weakness. You know, they've got to. They're, they're seeing through the other side of the metaphysical mirror, okay? They are enemy players of the game. So if you cut them off when they least expect it, you're scoring more points for God, okay? And then more of these Jupiter blessings can come to you. God loves someone who uh, has a sense of humor when dealing with the spiritual warfare on this planet. And I feel like, you know, maybe you're someone really kind. They don't expect you to just cut them off randomly and move on. Look at this. Just uh, meet me getting out of dodge here with the six of swords so yeah there's really something chaotic here i hope this is confirmation for someone that you're not going crazy okay if you've been overthinking a situation if something doesn't feel right to you this is your chance this is your challenge to cut off the the cut off the devil okay to cut off the malevolent one to cut off this sneaky being who may have everyone else convinced that they're a normal human being you know, because no one wants to believe that these creatures actually exist. They'd rather think that they only exist on TV programs. Like, it's nothing to do with me. It just exists on the TV. Well, where do we get our TV programs from? From real life, okay? These parasites are everywhere. So, yeah, this is, this is a spiritual lesson for you to be in your authority. Emperor energy. To know what to destroy. To know what to get rid of. And to not let anyone confuse you. Or sacrifice you on their timeline. Because that's what they want. If you knew how evil they really were. If you knew how little of a fuck they give about you. Your kids. Your family. Your happiness. If you knew what they really wanted. Which was the utter destruction of your life. You would never. You wouldn't hesitate. You wouldn't hesitate to get out your sword. And you know. These people. I've had a lot of narcissists in my life. I get targeted because I'm chosen of course. It's like Constantine level shit in my life. I barely believe it myself except that I know uh, and I've had it rubbed in my face over and over again. So I'm putting you guys in the deep end here, okay? I'm, I'm giving you that deep end treatment because uh, I'm hoping something will hit your psyche and it will really help you jump up to this higher benevolent timeline. But they will always try and act like you're crazy when you cut them off. They'll always try and act like they will always project their craziness onto you they will always do the social warfare thing of going around to people and being like oh they cut me off i wonder what's wrong with them they've got this way of hypnotizing people they've got this way of hypnotizing people into their narrative people are scared of narcissists on subliminal levels it's that reptilian energy okay they don't really want them on their bad side again the school references okay in school we get used to the sociopaths and the narcissists ruling everything and it's set up like that in the 3D, okay, so that they get dominance even in school. 
But this is a Queen of Swords energy. This is someone who doesn't care. You know, if people want to believe this person's narrative, if people want to believe a moron, a moronic devil creature, I just see it as, okay, thank you for revealing what a fickle idiot you are. You know, when people believe narcissists, when they smear me, when I'm chosen by God, I'm one of the kindest hearted people on this planet. If people want to believe them over me, then there has to be some evil in that person to believe that person. Okay, if they can't act like a grown adult and have their own mind and, you know, know you based on how you've dealt with them, they're not worth it anyway, okay? We want strong allies only. We want real allies. We want real comrades in our life. We don't want to let anyone on our ship who isn't solid in their own consciousness and in their own being. Because they'd only cause us trouble down, down the road. So if you've got to lose uh, more people than just one narcissist, let them go. If they can be taken, let them let them go, okay? Because they're proving to you, if they listen to the narcissist, that they were always idiots to begin with. Mainstream, fearful, brainwashed idiots running from their lower animal nature. You can't be a good friend when you're not even a real adult. You haven't even done the basics to get your mind right, okay? So we've got the chariot here. This is you zooming away in victory okay the chariot's all about victory and it's about getting your head out of your fears getting your head tuned to the higher self channel and not letting the lower animal nature in yourself control you through fear or worry okay all of that stuff is low frequency it puts you instantly on the 3d channel and tarot is all about getting us on the golden pathway of our higher self so You've got this opportunity here, okay, to really work through something and really escape something for good. Two of Wands energy, okay. Branching off on a different pathway here. I feel like, you know, this is a crossroads for you, okay. This betrayal, Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. This is a crossroads, so you can choose to either feel like someone's done something to you or you can choose to take the higher pathway. And know that this is a test and know that this is an opportunity for you to pick the higher pathway. But if there's any self-pity or fear, you go on the lower pathway, I'm afraid, dearest. Okay, so this reading is a big sign for you to take the higher pathway. Chop that fear off. Laugh at any fear you feel. I get it. They're malevolent. I know it's easy for me to say I've been through thousands of lifetimes dealing with this shit. And it was still a shock in this lifetime the way they all are. You know, and I was born in a pit of them. But, uh, you know, this is your chance to take this higher, glowing spiritual pathway. To laugh at them. Now I'm telling you what they are. You know, you've got every opportunity to escape this uh, lower vibrational timeline. Full energy. Yeah, this is escaping from any battle. And, you know, this, this reading started off about benevolence. It's all about benevolence. It's all about... Keeping that mind clear, knowing what's really going on, okay, and taking the higher pathway that your higher self is guiding you down. So let's have a look at this four of wands. We've got the hierophant on the bottom of the deck. So yes, of course, you're being overlooked by God. Of course, God's like, you know, God's got a sense of humor with all this. Okay, we've got the five of pentacles here. Show me. So it might feel temporarily like you've got to lose some allies. But they're not real allies anyway if they're uh, narcissists or people who are easily hypnotized by narcissists. They're not the sort of people you want on your ship, okay? They're really not. So we've got the Five of Pentacles and the Fool. You know, I love the Five of Pentacles for me because I'm an old soul, you know? Being completely free of any social obligations for me makes me feel free. I love it, okay? And, you know, starting a new journey, I feel like your new journey, should you choose to accept it, is going towards the Four of Wands, okay? And it might feel a little bit spooky at first with the moon energy, okay? I do offer personal sessions if you need some support going through anything in your life. But uh, let's have a look what else is going on. Show me. Ten of Pentacles. So again, that benevolence. This is about you finding your true soul tribe with the Ten of Pentacles. People you can really trust. You only get to the Ten of Pentacles when you've gone through all of the wands, you know, all of the cups, the emotions. Then you've got to hold your ground with the swords and, and really honour what you've chosen. And then we start manifesting our bounty. But the swords come before the Pentacles. So the hardest battles come before the manifestations. It's just the way the universe synchronizes everything up and tests our soul. We need to go through these portals and doorways spiritually. They're invisible, of course, 
But all the most important stuff really is happening happening in non-physical. You know, everything physical has a non-physical counterpart, including us. The non-physical powers up the physical. So you're going towards this. These are real allies, okay? A real family. This is your spiritual family waiting for you with this four of wands. They're waiting for you to break away from any stress, you know, any confusion. Because like I say, when you're dealing with a narcissist, they don't believe in free will. We do. So we believe in their free will ability to, you know, essentially trap us on their timeline. So the energy shifts when a narcissist walks in the room. You can have 10 heart-centered beings sat in a room. One narcissist walks in and their energy takes over the entire cosmic stage, okay? It's nothing really to fear once you know exactly how they operate. But it's going through those learning... Uh, learning processes that can feel quite spooky, okay? Trust me, it, it it's the same for all humans. None of us get to uh, escape these lessons, but uh, let's have a look. Yeah, temperance and the lovers, okay? So it's all about balance and harmony, trying different things, thinking outside of the box with temperance, you know, knowing that we were never supposed to be stuck in one static mindset, but that we literally are supposed to be shifting and changing, and flowing and adapting and this is about you following your heart okay and that doesn't mean being nice to narcissists it means nothing to them it's like being nice to a cardboard cutout. it means being kind to yourself first and foremost making sure your cup is full your cup your ace of cups your heart has to be full first before you can give to anyone else anyway okay so none of this new age guilt about oh, i've got to be kind to everyone no you can't be kind to someone who's trying to slow your life down and sacrifice you. Okay, you've got to be a warrior in this life. It's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Okay, so, yeah, look what I was saying here. Ace of Cups is about you being loyal to yourself. Okay, you could have children. But even if this is just you being loyal to yourself and fulfilling all the things you came to earth for, you know, that's enough. That's more than enough. And I feel like, you know, you've got this soul family waiting for you with the Ten of Pentacles coming out on the table. So I'm going to pull an angel card here because I feel like we need some of that angelic goodness to help you on down the road. Let's have a look. Things will fall into place at the right time. Trust divine timing. So you're always watched over. Okay, you're always guided. You're always watched over. And you can always call on the angels any time you want we've got your pets on both sides of life will always hold a special place in your heart that energy stays with you throughout all time if you've never had a pet this could indicate your little helpers on the other side or your little helpers that are non-physically surrounding you you know we, we have like animal spirit guides right so this could include you getting more into your animal nature you know and embracing the fact that we've got an animal nature and integrating that animal nature and pulling it along for the ride. See, the chariot is all about using the animal nature uh, to, you know, to help us down the road. But letting that higher self lead. Someone who is letting the animal nature take over them would be angry. You know, that would be the typical one. And anyone who makes decisions from the lower animal nature, they will see terrible results of that on their timeline. The universe will keep feeding them back information. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong over and over again. But the animal nature in us can be our best friend. It can pull our chariot of victory down the road. It's just about, you know, embracing the fact that as humans, we are basically half animal, half alien. Okay, and people don't like hearing that because they've been so brainwashed in science. But that's the truth. We are ethereal beings. So it's time to etherealize yourself, which means getting your consciousness to a higher channel of the mind, okay? When you need a little extra support, remember to call on us, your loving angel. So you've got to remember you've got free will. So if you want any energies to step in and help you, you've got to request it. So let's have a look what else is coming out. You've got the fool twice on the table. So this is about you having the courage to break off from something. You've got the third house. It's about communication. Gemini energy, okay. Rest stop, okay. Again, this page of cups is coming in to offer you something uplifting, okay? Tenth house energy. It's about your career. It's about how you appear to the public. 
So you could be having a rest stop and discussing things with trustworthy allies before you make some sort of career move. And lucky here, we've got miracle energy. Okay, so you can type in the comments right now. I'm in a I'm in an energy of miracles. I am a miracle and I expect miracles and Jupiter is bringing miracles into my life. God is bringing miracles into my life. If you get that energy of miracles activated in your mind, you'll start to feel it in your chakras. Things will just start going right for you, okay? What have we got on the bottom of the deck? Meditation. Meditation. We connect to our own personal inner world through meditation okay so this is about you uh knowing you've got that space to go your little sanctuary somewhere that you can always be peaceful and also with meditation you can pick up on any past life energies that could help you at this time help you be more of a ninja or more of a warrior and cut off some idiot some modern day idiot you know okay they want me to pull from my uh my crazy deck that i made myself let's have a look what message is coming out here See through the eye of source, okay? So it's about connecting with God's energy, knowing you're a portion of that which we call God or source energy, which means you've got access to everything. You've got access to all the abundance in the universe. You've got access to every being that's ever lived who is now in non-physical, who can help you, who can join you when you need more strength. Wow, love wins and light fills the dark when you continue to love and understand despite provocation. So someone's trying to provoke you here. Okay, they want to get you off the frequency of love. Okay, they want to ruin your manifestations by taking you off of that frequency of love. So if you can stay on that frequency of love and understand that, oh, they're just a poor little narcissist. They fucked up every life they ever had. So God gave them away to the devil. Oh, pitiful, huh? You know, that's just a quick example. But if you can understand what they are, then they're not so spooky, you know, and they do. They become pitiful. They become, it becomes quite sad, you know, and then the parental part of every human mind can look at them and think, oh God, I don't need to be scared of this person. I can just send them love by understanding what they are, you know. I hope this reading's helped, guys. Okay, I really hope that this has helped someone to avoid catastrophe and stay on that higher pathway. Get those blessings, okay? Lots of love.